How's it going, fellas? Today, we're just looking at another example of, uh, you know, the internet being dumb, as it always is. Uh, if you haven't already done so, leave a like in the video to claim your free nothing. And with that being said, let's jump right into it. So Flamingo is a huge YouTuber. He's primarily a Roblox YouTuber. And while I didn't really watch him back in the day, he seems like a pretty nice guy. And I can definitely give him props for, you know, almost reaching 10 million subscribers. He's 100%, you know, retrieving the bag. And I can 100% respect that. So as you can see, he primarily uploads uh, Roblox content, but he does occasionally upload a kind of like reaction style content. And as you can imagine, the internet being uh, the internet, they were like, something that isn't what you always do? So the comments I'm going to show you of people, you know, complaining for no good reason. Yeah, they're written on my notepad because you guys are like super sluice. And whenever I actually showed a comment in the past, you guys would still find it even if I blurred out the name. So basically, these are like the paraphrased versions of what I saw when I went to go look. But yeah, they're not exactly it. And yes, I realize they're on a notepad. I'm not an idiot, bro. Oh, yeah. By the way, subscribe. Yeah. OK, let's read some of these comments. So this one I saw a few times, basically people saying, I subscribe for Roblox content on any of the videos he did that weren't like 100% Roblox related, like his reaction videos, or even like one of his videos where he did like an update, like it was like, huh? Sometimes it kind of puzzles me when the like fans of people, whenever someone uploads something that is not 100% the norm, they're like, oh wow, so you have 100% changed, bro, you've changed. I think people sometimes forget that creator burnout is a real thing, and uh, if you're doing a Roblox video every single day, like, yeah, I get it's his job and he's supposed to do it, but definitely, like, mixing in the content, like, the majority of people were very happy with his new videos, like, and the thing is, like, just thinking that, like, he's never gonna, like, oh, no, he's done, he's done posting Roblox, he's changed, man, he switched up, he made one reaction video, it's all over, dude. I also saw some people that were like genuinely afraid that after he posted one or two reaction style videos that he was just completely done posting Roblox videos like he was never going to post another Roblox video on his channel even though like the day after he posts a Roblox video and still like 95% of his videos are Roblox videos. I, I feel like I don't know I've seen this too like someone tries something new and it's like wow he's never going back to his old content. It's over. I mean, the good thing is you guys are pretty chill. Like whenever I make a story video or a commentary video like this or a reaction video like I did like to like the TikTok stuff, you guys never comment, wow, it looks like this is the only type of content he's ever going to do. Because, you know, we, we have a pretty good, uh, we got a pretty good community over here. People have a pretty good sense of like, you know, when I do this stuff, it's like I'm just mixing it up. But I will always get an occasional comment like, wow, so are you never doing commentary videos ever again after I tell literally one story in like a, the span of a week? after doing like six reaction and commentary videos like uh, six videos before and i'm just like bro what and you know i guess this fear isn't like not founded in literally anything because channels do switch up their content if anything that happens pretty frequently and if a channel's been around long enough they will probably make some pretty big adjustments in their content like if you saw my channel 10 months ago it was literally like purely minecraft content and in the last month or so, I haven't made a solely Minecraft video at all. The only Minecraft element of my videos is the background gameplay I use. I don't even really talk about Minecraft anymore. And that, you know, that's personally for me because I don't really play the game as much as I used to. I mean, I do for like background recording video stuff, but I'm really just, the only time I'm really on Minecraft is getting mad while playing PvP and quitting after like five seconds or recording background gameplay. And I was really lucky that I was able to make the transition. I also saw some people that were like, I hate his reaction videos. I know I'm unsubscribing, bro. I'm unsubscribing unless you only do Roblox. And well, well, first of all, a couple things. I've had people like comment that stuff on my videos in the past. Like when I've tried something new, they're like, bro, it's not what I subscribe for. And the thing is like, fair, but also uh, I don't really care. I don't know how to say that without sounding like like mean or something. Like I do care, but I also don't. Like I've seen people like threaten to unsubscribe unless I start doing like exactly what they want them to do. And I don't know, that just never has really worked unless you have like 10 subscribers and someone unsubscribing would literally be like a blow of 10% of your subscriber count. The thing is, I really do care about your feedback on my videos. I like to know what videos you guys enjoy more than other ones, but threatening to unsubscribe is is kind of just like basically it's the equivalent of being like i'm gonna call the manager bro but here's the thing bro i'm the manager the thing is though it would be like totally fair if flamingo wasn't making like one commentary video reaction video for every like 20 roblox videos he's made like they're acting as if like 
he has just completely switched up his content. Like, for example, if someone like commented, and I don't know why they bother commenting this, but let's say someone commented on my video and said, hey man, I'm gonna have to unsubscribe. I subscribed for the Minecraft stuff like a year ago, and it's just not like, you're not making that anymore. That's totally valid, bro. Like, I'm just not making Minecraft stuff that much anymore. But like for Flamingo, people being like, I'm gonna unsubscribe. It's just like, bro, he's gonna make Roblox videos uh, you know, 20 times out of the 21 videos, right, in, like, three weeks. Like, uh, chill out. So some people on his, like, reaction videos were like, oh, he's a hater, bro. I hate how he's hating. He needs to stop hating. Uh. So, like, specifically in his recent video was, like, the one that was, like, reacting to cringe YouTube shorts. Normally, cringe is not associated with, like, wow, this is so good. This is so cringe. Like, that. no, no one says that. But I don't know, I feel like it's pretty overdramatic to be like, wow, this is super negative content. Like, the thing is, he's just sitting there, he's just reacting to something moderately funny. Like, the thing is, a lot of times, vi people who try and go viral on the internet will do make something that's, like, intentionally kind of cringe because they know it'll work. So, like, it they know what they're doing, bro. I also think it's, like, the intention behind the reaction, bro. And the thing is, like, do you think Flamingo is, you know, uh, is reacting to this with malicious intent? You really think this guy is like, oh, I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be the biggest hater ever. And it's also like the people that he's going after, he's not going after like, you know, six-year-old kids who are just genuinely trying to make YouTube videos. Cause you wanna know a little secret? I've been posting YouTube videos for over five years. The majority of them have been taken down, but I left a few of the old ones up to just show you that it is truly a process. And you could very easily, you know, call my content cringe back in the day, like very easily. And I, I, I privated most of it because I'm like, I really just want to humiliate myself to a bare minimum. But I wanted to leave a little bit up to show you guys that it is a process. And the thing is, Flamingo isn't going after like six year olds who are really just trying to make it on YouTube, trying to like make some videos, but obviously just don't really know how to make videos because they're like six years old or something, bro. He's going after like full on channels that know what they're doing. Like the thing is, if you're like a an adult doing like a, a, a boy, a like kids ABC balloon toys video, like, yeah, that's just gonna be a little bit cringe. But the thing is, one, they're probably making bank and they don't really care. But two, they know what they're doing, bro. They, they can take it, they know what they're doing. I think in general, it's just really important to like remember that, you know, creators need to be able to experiment a little bit in general when it comes to YouTube. Because one, uh, well, a, a bajillion reasons, bro. But like, first of all, creator burnout is, is real. Um, you're, most of these people aren't big corporations that have teams doing this every day. And also too, like you actually need to like innovate and make new content every once in a while if you want your channel not to fall off a cliff. Because if people were making the same videos as they did or exactly the same way as they did like five, 10 years ago, their channel just simply wouldn't be relevant anymore. I mean, uh, imagine if uh, PewDiePie was doing 20 minute long uncut Slenderman videos. They wouldn't be pulling like the two to three million views he gets on average, if not a little higher, on his kind of highly edited reaction content mixed in with like Minecraft and gaming and personality based. If he was making the stuff he was making that got him popular in 2013, like his channel just wouldn't be that popular anymore. I mean, maybe it's a special case with PewDiePie, but I think you get the idea. Guys, I'd like you to do me a favor, and that favor is to click on one of the four videos you see on screen right now. Uh, any of them that looks appealing, please just go ahead and click on them. I'll literally give you, uh, I don't know, seven seconds of really decent luck if you click on one of those videos. So yeah, click on one of the videos you see on the screen right now. That's it. Bye.